So big cheer here for Akhmadovi, Gregorian of Armenia making his way to the red corner. Gregorian beat Bruno Babac of Croatia in his previous fight. Akhmadovi, boxing for Georgia, got past Yuri Labchevsky of Israel in his previous fight. Pressure on these Georgian fighters, but it's the kind of pressure you want. You're at home, you're in familiar surroundings. This venue, the volleyball centre, right in the middle of the... Olympic Training Centre in Tbilisi. The gymnastics centre is opposite the track and field just around the corner. They'll both be very familiar with these surroundings and support inside the arena for them as well. And It's the kind of stage that, that any fighter would want. You are under pressure to deliver, of course. There's that Georgian flag. Right slap, bang in the middle of shot there and the Armenian one to the right-hand side as we look at it. So Gregorian of Armenia in the red, boxing out of the orthodox stance of George Rachmadovi there, the southpaw, looking to try and make a nice busy start, trying to whip in that southpaw backhand, just moving that lead hand up, down, up, down, using it as a kind of distraction for Gregorian, or at least trying to. There's a lot of movement going on here from Rachmadovi, right up on his toes. Just moving in and out. Quite a sort of tense style that he's got about him. That can really burn nervous energy. And there will be some in these circumstances. Not nearly as much movement from Gregorian. Keeping that more solid base. But he can get up on those tippy toes himself every now and again. Just on the edge of range, these two. Good left hand there, though, from Akhmadovi. Really stepped into that one. Shot it nice and straight down the middle. There's that one two again. And Gregorian is just getting caught on the end of that and did again there. And his confidence has grown here at Madovi because Gregorian isn't really doing too much to get out of the way of that. He took his feet back that time and pulled himself out of distance, but for the most part, he's holding his ground. And at Madovi is, has found that range, really, on the outside as he is there, but he knows when he steps in and really commits to it, he can make it reach. Put a left hand on his way in there, though. Georgian fighter Bell goes at the end of round one good start from Akhmadovi on my card and he gets it with four of the judges Gregorian gets it with the Estonian judge up at the top there had good success with the 1-2 there Akhmadovi and Gregorian was a little bit of a, not a rabbit caught in the headlights exactly, but he seemed to touch frozen to the spot when his opponent just came in with that, that quite simple one-two. It's one of the most effective combinations of boxing, of course, if you execute it. 
correctly, then then often there isn't that much your opponent can do about it. But Gregorian's got to get off the punching line when Akmadovi steps in and commits to that to that move. Otherwise, he's going to get hit. Short with the left hand that time, Akmadovi. The crowd liked it, but it didn't land. Trying to lead off with a hook there, Gregorian. There's our left. That was at least half blocked as well. Left of the body from Akmadovi was effective. Reaching for that right hand. Gregorian just can't get close enough, really, is his problem. He's slightly taller than Akmadovi, but he's not got the same kind of speed with his feet, whereas Akmadovi can dart in and out, launch those kind of raiding missions. Gregorian is less able to do that a good example of it there from Akmadovi comes in throws a rapid 1-2 and then pulls those feet back out foot speed hand speed very much the advantage here is with Akmadovi it's the final 30 seconds of the second round scoring again with that 1-2 there it's nice and simple, but as I said, it's very effective and he just doesn't really have time to react, I think, is the problem for Gregorian. And the scores, predictable really, there wasn't any other way that you could have scored that round other than 10-9 in favour of Akmadovi, so he pulls away into a clear 20 points to 18 lead with four of the five judges, 19 apiece with the judge at the top there from Estonia. So Akmadovi has got this in the palm of his hand at the moment, I'm sure he'll want to finish nice and strong but he doesn't need to do, go too crazy having said that there is a day off tomorrow so plenty of time to recover for, for all of these fighters if he fancies really putting his foot to the floor in this third and final round There's that one-two again. That didn't quite land clean, the left hand. But he's well set when he throws that. Good short right there from Gregorian. I think he's realising in this third and final round that the only way to really deal with Akmadovi here is just to punch when he punches. When you see him punch, you've got to go with him or beat him to the punch. Because if you're going to try and react to him, he's going to come second best generally speaking because of that superior hand speed and there's that one two when he puts that one two onto Gregorian Gregorian just can't the best he can do is block it and quite often he hasn't been able to do that Right to the body there from Gregorian. He's had a better round in this third. Pat Madovi still the 
the fighter on top here. There's that one two. Gloves were up there for Gregorian. He would have blocked that combination, but he still moved him backwards. Had an effect. And good performance from Ori Jack Madovi and a clear, clear win. So he will go through to the final on Sunday where he will box for gold against Malik Zakaipov of Russia. Madobi, three rounds to nil with Italy, Germany, Bulgaria and Hungary 2-1 with Estonia and he boxed well boxed to a plan, executed it well and that'll be a good fight between him and Malik Zagaipov a couple of southpaws, different kinds of styles difficult to pick a winner there posing for a few photos